Yo, if you've reached the end game in Pal World or pretty close to it, you're gonna realize quickly that the resource you keep running out of is Pal Fluids. Pal Fluids and high quality Pal Oil. Another thing you're probably gonna want if you're in the end game are food buffs. Ike Tier Deer Loco Moco gives 20% attack power, but I'm about to show you the best farm that I've seen to get all three of these items at the same time. I'm also going to show you a farm that you can use to get 147 PAL fluids in just 5 minutes. That was what I was able to get when I actually timed it, but I'm pretty sure you could get way more if you really tried. Anyway, why PAL fluids? Because PAL fluids are used to make cement. And cement is going to be the main thing holding our progress back at the end of the game. So after you learn these farms, you're going to basically have infinite ultra and legendary spheres. And infinite food buffs. So your pals are constantly buffed and way stronger than normal. First one I'm going to show you is the meat farm. You're going to want to breed a fast blaze howl and a fast blaze howl knock. Try to get some good attack IVs on them if you can, and give them as many speed boosts as you possibly can. I spent a whole day and got these guys with perfect speed traits. Next you want to warp to this area called Marsh Island Church Ruins, and basically this whole island here is the sweet spot for the farm. And once you're here, hop on Blaze Howl Knocked. You're going to want to use this guy most of the time to farm the deers. The best thing to do with this is use the legendary shotgun if you have that. If you don't, you could just use an ability called Dragon Cannon. This ability is really easy to find and does enough damage to two deers easily. And thanks to Blaze Howl Knocked's partner ability, you're going to get roughly two times the drops that you would normally get from the deer. While running around this area, you're going to see plenty of Fwax. Make sure to run them down with the Blaze Howl and collect Pal Fluids at the same time. When you see Mamorest, hop off Blaze Howl Knocked and summon your regular Blaze Howl. These guys give double drops when you defeat or capture Grass Pals. Mamorest usually drops around 5 to 8 high quality pal oil, but with Blaze Howl they'll be dropping double the normal amount. And if you really want to do this and get the most benefit out of it, the higher level partner abilities on Blaze Howl and Blaze Howl Knocked are going to give you more drops. So the higher you level those up, the more drops you're going to get from them. Mine are both level 5. Once you collect the drops from the Mamorest, you then go ahead and swap back to the Knocked and keep farming the Deers. If you want to do this farm but you don't want to breed two speedy blaze howls which does take a lot of work what you could do is just breed one of them with speed traits and use that one and swap when you need to so whatever version of the blaze howl you need you just swap to that one and then swap back to your fast one after remember knocked for normal ones and normal blaze howl for grass types but the pal fluids are probably what's really holding most of you back and this right here azurobe hill is the spot to go for farming them Everyone's gonna say Gobfin's Turf is the best, but I promise you I tested them both and I usually get two to three times the amount at Azeroth Hill. The method I recommend for this farm is to use a full speed jet drag. It's not necessary, but to get the full amount and rates that I get, you're gonna need it. If you don't have a jet dragon, use the fastest mount that you have access to and breed it for maximum speed traits. The wiki here lists all of the fastest mounts in the game. In 5 minutes, I was able to get 147 PAL fluids. I wasn't even trying as hard as I could have been, and I'm sure I could have gotten around 180 or maybe even 200. Even stopped to capture a lucky celery. You can't use the alpha version of Jet Dragon even if you do have good speed traits on it because it's just too big and it'll fly right over the kelp seas. But a bred Jet Dragon can hit them no problem. The other thing that makes this so quick is that you must equip Air Cannon onto Jet Dragon. This ability has a super fast cooldown and it's plenty of damage to kill the celeries and any kelp seas that you can't actually hit with your jet dragon. So you just fly back and forth along this beach, farm as much as you can. 100 pal fluids can make a thousand cement, so you can get 100 pal fluids so quickly here. A thousand cement makes you around 200 legendary spheres. But with this you guys are set, these farms should help you out quite a bit if these uh, materials have been a problem for you. And now you've got infinite ultra spheres and infinite legendary spheres. So the game is going to get a lot easier once you can just craft these whenever you need them. Let me know if you guys try this, how much better it is for you, and if you want more guides and PAL world videos, sub to my channel. Peace.